Right, sorry about that, and we're back. I don't know what happened there. The stream just went down. It's... Oh, uh, I do think we've got a bug in the lobby. Because uh, as the time, as you can see, it's stuck on one. Yeah, I think it's, I, I do think it's, no. I was going to say, I've just seen Itachi say. I think we've got a bug lobby here. But there we go, the, the session has ended. We'll have a look as it goes. On to the next round, uh, the next session. So as we've seen, Psycho like, like Satan. Uh, takes for... P1 in that session in the Aston Martin with a 14.5, a 14.7 there from Itachi. Senna put a time in of a 14.9. It says Kinsel's left the session. So we'll just have to have a look, see if anything's coming up. Uh, the, the stream has got, did go down, but the stream is back up. Yeah, uh, so I'll just quickly put in the Discord out the stream. The stream did stream did stop, but I didn't get kicked. I think someone, because I kind of advance, I think the drivers will have a better. Idea to see. Oh, you're on being kicked. Okay. So it's stuck. So someone has got a connection issue. I think it might have been banana. Let's have a look. It has. There you go. So Croft, Crofty's just put it out there. So if everyone, someone's got to be, so I will back mate, I mean, the connection to the stream did stop, but all I've did is start it back up, there you go, Banana Buster has left the session, we should be able to, Just waiting on all the drivers to to get that done there. So Albo, like I said, he's going to start P20 alongside Kinsel Styles in 19th. Neither of them guys qualified for the reasons I already stated. Slippery Tuna, he's going to start P18 with Peter at 17. And the Beata Dave managed to put a time in of a 16.5, but unfortunately it wasn't good enough. To make it out of Q1, as we're quickly going now, nah, lobby screwed, keeping yellow flags. Oh, there we go. So someone's moved on. I still haven't. It's going now, according to Addy. So I'm still stuck on the thing. We Bob, let's see. Tommy's saying it's working now. But let, like I say, so we're just waiting on the guys to move forward. 
there we go the counter's ticking down ends in 15 seconds so we should be good to go hopefully that was it god this game does your head in I know, but I, I'm so used to Zaddy says, yeah, call me Addy, please, mate. <laughs> that's that's what I'm seeing in the Discord, so that's what I'm writing, so that's what my memory's saying. But, yeah, for those who don't know, Itachi there is Addy. Uh, uh, Ruthless Venom, I'm just getting used to calling him that. I think I may refer to him as his old name of Captain Infinity, just in case. I'll mix up there. Yeah. Guys, I just obviously, I don't know what name to pick out there. Call him Guy, maybe. <laughs> or Ramsel's son. I don't know what the big boy is, but there we go. We're going. And we'll get the stuff up for you. There you go, a little bit of nonsense, and I get screwed up. So that was Andy Lou looking a bit glitchy. So there you go, Banana Buster, back into the session. There's Nizzy. Nizzy's mechanics. Sent them out at a bad time there, didn't they? So, first on track, Aston Martin off, Psycho like Satan. Or Santan, obviously, there we go. So, he's going to lead the way. Get all this off for you to see the car number 62 there, who finished P1. In the first session, I don't know, was that an Andy Lou leaving? Or was that Andy Lou retiring? I think he's out the session as well. So if he can get back in. Coming through sector two. Just about to start the first lap. I hate this onboard camera. You can feel the car, but he's missing them. The apex is coming around. So top in Q1, he's going to set the first time on the board the day, so take that off, so get 199, two, there you go, bricks 200 just, he's into turn one, so three mile an hour slower down the straight than other drivers we've seen, so that's a more set a two base setup should we say, again, up to 8th gear though, coming into the second chicane there, turns 4, 5, 6, again, keeping it nice and smooth, getting good apexes, not, not hitting them yellow curbs, so that's sector 1, in the start of sector 2, doing good, this is where it matters now, oh it goes wide there though, but he let off, so it's going to give him the lap, just noticing there though he's on the soft tires and it looks like he's going for it so again I'm I'm a feeling rain coming he comes to the stadium now yeah nice and smooth no curb got the curb that time but no that slipping policeman so that's going to be a first sector time of a 15-4 so that tells me that's just a scrub lap yeah, so, get that back on. so who's next so that's a McLaren next that looks like it could be Yash. It certainly is, but he's invalidated because his teammate has just started his lap. So we've got Mercedes now, big boy. Ooh, that was a little wide there by big boy, but he's going for it. And that's a 15-6 from big boy. That's provisionally P1 as he slows down there. Right, that wasn't Paige. It was a teammate, so is that broken hour going to be next? That's a car in front coming into the pit, so I think Jones is back into the pit. Yes, he is. Broken arrow now on the mediums, and that's a 17 flat. Oh, well, almost a 17 flat, but nevertheless. We have Paige. She is just starting her lap. So that's Swanee, 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 Swanee. And that's a time of 16.6 from Swancha. Good, so cycle like Santan is going to come into the pits. And they're looking at the blue 
car again of Yasha was invalidated again. So he's going to come into the pits as he has no fuel. McLaren next, so that's Ruthless Venom now. What kind of time is he putting in for his first go? And that's a 16 3 from him. Again. Let's see how these guys are fancying it. So is that Page? No, that's Page 2 set two. So it's Nizzy now. Validated two laps he has now, so he's got to go again. There's Yash there, does a 16-7 on the mediums. Two laps on them tyres now. And I'm sorry I'm not getting the... Oh, but he's lost it! Oh, Swanny, 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 what you done? Oh, no way. What's happened, mate? We're seeing it a lot in League One, and he's facing the same way. Four drivers have done the same. He's just lost it. Coming out the S's. As we're going to see the Alpha Tauri drivers coming down the road now. There we go. Ah, it's a great misfortune there from Swan, for Swan Shank. So he's going to be starting no higher than P10. Banana Buster now on his outlap, also his teammate on his outlap. As, uh, Dylan's covering his eyes to that one, yeah, um, and Tommy's blaming D Dylan for it. Groove Ninja, I don't think it's a spoiler, Jim Beam is a kind of joke at this point, just going out and restarting constantly. Oh well, boring race to start with, it was kind of a spoiler, but we don't really want to know anything that's going on. As Sana, back to P3, oh we missed that, big boy, he's provisionally P1. With a 15-6. Good time from him. Psycho is fifth, second. Senna's third. Ruthless Venom is in fourth. Yash is in fifth. Broken Arrow is in sixth. And they're the six drivers to set... Well, six of the seven... seven six of the seven drivers to set times. The seventh, unfortunately, there. As you can see, Swan Shanks is out of the race. Well, out of the qualifying session, sorry. Ooh, ooh, ooh. And there's his... Williams teammate nearly losing it as well as as Sloths joined the session now. <laughs> uh, welcome aboard mate. Yeah, oh we've just missed someone there so there's Banana Buster he's put his first time in on the board. 16-7 provisional P5 for him. So that guy's just Starting his lap, so is that Nizzy? There we go, he has to. He must have put a very, mo, lot of fuel in the car that time, so four laps is done, and that's a 15 7 from him. Here we go, we've got a McLaren now of Yash. It's half a second up, but it keeps him P6, but he's dropped his P7 as Addy has put in a 15 5. On their mediums, big boy now coming out the pits on mediums. So Nizzy's in third now. So all your top ten look like they've gonna start on me uh, mediums. Page in the pits there. Oh, Yash is invalidated, but I think he's on a cool down lap in anyway. So we're gonna have a look at Banana Buster. Is he going for an improvement on his lap? He's going for it, but he's a bit slower. Yeah, he certainly uh, is, unfortunately. So we're going to have a look at his teammate. He's about to put his first time on the board, I think. Yes, he is. And that's a 16-1 from guys I just. Good lap there from him. So we're looking at Yash is coming into the pits. Ruthless Venom's about to start a lap. Again, still on them. Medium tyres, Nizzy into the pits. He comes. Jonesy next. No, he's invalidated. So his teammate, Broken Arrow, with a 17 0, must have just been starting a lap. Oh, he invalidated last. McLaren in the pits. Is that a Mercedes? Big boy on and out. Coming on and out lap. Yeah, he's about to go on a lap now. Aston Martin there. Psycho starting his lap. Oh, so we've got a yellow flag. 
There you go, Banana Buster. And you can see his wing is all over the place. He's done a swanee. Only this time, he's this one. Oh, who was that? That was a Williams. So that was Ash. So Ash and... Banana have lost it in the same place. Well, well, well. Claimed four victims in League One, so be very wary of that. Okay, so Andy Lou, he's on an outlap, needs to set a time. Page still in the pit. I wonder if she's going to sit there. We're about to find out. There's still four min over four minutes left. So Broken Arrow, he's going to be next across the line. He's only four hundredths up. So he's still got to find some more time to get out this drop zone. Jonesy in 12th. He's put the softs on. So you've got to expect you to put your money on Jonesy getting out of Q3. Uh, out of Q2 into Q3. As we've got sight. There you go. Psycho like Santan goes P1 with a 15 2. That's uh, Red Bull next. That looks like it's going to be Senna. Yes, it is. He's on an outlap. So I think it is Jonesy we're on with. It certainly is. Jonesy's going to be next to start to set. No, he's not. He's on his outlap. Isn't he? So Andy Lou. There we go. Andy Lou puts in two purple sectors. Again, I think they might be personal bests. So it might not be. So he's on the soft tyres. Yeah, spit lag there from Andy Lou. He's going to come down that final DRS zone into the stadium. He's going for it on these softs by the looks of it. Oh, bad corner there though. That was, I could tell even on that angle, the car took a massive jump there and it's invalidated him. So away he goes again. Page still in the pit lane. Broken arrow now. He's going to come round it. No, he's not. He's coming into the pits. So Jonesy, he's starting his lap, coming through the first chicane. So what kind of time we're looking at from Jonesy? Anywhere like 28 and a half. Yeah, 20, he's 400s up. But he's on for a good time here. Could he break into the 14s? Keep on board with Jonesy as he needs to get out of this drop zone. Is someone tell... Can someone tell Cody to mute himself? Cody, mute yourself, mate, or just turn your mic off. Please don't be distracting the other drivers. And also someone who ain't getting practice no more. <laughs> oh, I missed him. Hello, correct, Savant. Welcome back, mate. There you go, Jonesy, P3 there with a 15-9. That's a good lap from Jonesy. He's going to look to start on softs. And there, Andy Lou just couldn't get to them. But there, P2 now with a 15-4. That's a good lap there from Andy Lou. So, we've got Page. It's just coming out the pits there now. Going to give it one go on the mediums. Open arrow now. Is he on the softs? Yes, he is. On his outlap. Banana Buster invalidated this lap, so it looks like he could have the fuel to go again. Swan Shanks has been pushed into P12, so could get the full 10, providing no one crashes here. So it's Yash, he's on a lap now, coming through the stadium. I missed his time, but he needs to find. 200 two thousandth of a second from his teammate as we've got yellow flags again i don't know what their yellow flags are for right at the bottom of the straight but yash goes p2 with a 15-3 he found more than two thousandths of a second there didn't he so banana buster he's having to go again broken arrow and page both on outlaps as we've got yellow flags sector one two and three yeah all the cars are moving So as we're coming to the end of this session, it's going up way again. It's 
Captain Infinity's ran out of time. Ooh, Captain Infinity's on the brink. No, he is, he's down. He's, he's out of Q2. Whoa, there's a surprise. He's left it too late. There you go, he's retired in the pits. So it's Banana Buster now. Broken arrow. Oh, it's Banana Buster. He's hit the wall again. And that's his cue qualifying over. So unfortunately, he's going to be starting in the middle of the pack. Broken arrow now. He's going to come through the yeses. puts in a purple sector too so he's at least putting in a per personal best here there we go so broken arrow gets up to p7 that's pushed guy down so we need to be looking at him but as it stands, Paige coming around the final corner now. What can she do? Can she get herself out of the Q2, Paige? Oh, she goes up a couple of positions to P13, which was on the mediums there. So Banana Buster is going to start 15th. Swan Chance is going to start 14th. Paige is going to start 13th. With this Venom, is going to start 12th. Now it's all on Guy. Guy, can't, Guy push Nizzy out. This is another shock potential another shock here can guy on his debut pushed last week's race winner out and i missed it we're about to find out it's going to leave one a bit of temptation there you go he did yes he did he's qualified p he's put it in p1 on them softs that's a great lap from guy there and it has so there you go two shocks in my opinion out in q2 of Nizzy and Ruthless Venom. Again, Nizzy just opting for the soft tyres. Uh, sorry, he's opting for the mediums and sticking to them. And Ruthless Venom, as we saw in the chat, he left it too late. Page is going to be 13th. Swanshank's 14th after a crash. And Banana Buster's going to start 15th. So that's Senna, Ashtu, Broken Arrow, Big Boy, Jonesy, Itachi, aka Addy. Andy Lou, Yash, Psycho like Santan, and guys, I just going to make it into Q3, and we are going to have one, two, three, only three guys starting on the mediums this time. Nizzy in a great place though, gets free choice of tyre. So, going into Q3. I think we have, we've got both Alpha Tauris there, eh, no, both Alpha Tauris, we've got both Alpines there, of Jonesy and Ash, eh, sorry, Jonesy and Broken Arrow, we've got one Williams, one Alpha Tauri, we've got both Mercedes there, big boy, and Addy, we've got a Red Bull, we've got an Aston Martin, we've got a McLaren, and we've got an Alfa Romeo of Andy Lou, so there we go, so out first, I think that might be Addy, yes it is, not put the tyres on because we know they're all going to be on them tyres as I'm going to ask jump in and ask going to ask I've asked Cody just to mute his mic please I'll leave the session as it is going to prove distracting to the other drivers as I say as they're trying to concentrate so 
Um, sorry about that, it was Addy on. So he's going to be first to go and start the lap this time. And then we've got Jonesy following him. So he's approaching a broken arrow quite quick. But there you go, broken arrow. Realised that and got straight out the way. That's fair play. So that's the first couple of corners complete for him. And he's going to put in a time of 28.1. Also, we're on, we're on for the 14s here. That's a great little time there. So he's coming around this hairpin now to start the S's. So let's jump on board, have a look. So it goes nice and wide there. Goes far wide to open that corner up. Again, it's all good there. Swinging it the other side of the track. Just feathering the throttle. Flooring it now for this little DRS straight to come into the stadium section. Down into fourth. No, down into third. Uh, slowing it down into second to swing it round, looking for a good apex here and a good apex here. And a final one here, got a little bit of that policeman though, might have settled them a bit. But he's coming across the line, yes there you go with a 14-4. That's a fantastic time there by Addy. That's a strong pole position time contender there, Jonesy only on a 16-8. This big boy's going really slow. So we've got Broken Arrow is coming into the pits. So that's Senna next. What can Senna do now? He's coming round. He's going to put in a 14 8. So there you go. Early signs of Atachi. Might have had fresh tyres. Senna may be on a set of scrubs. But that's a good time nonetheless. Jones is going again. He's going round again at the very least. Uh, Andy Lou's gone into 16s with a 16 4. Ash 16 Ford. So again, scrub runs you've got there, suspect. Is Yash is looking a bit wobbly there. So guy's just starting his lap, big boy. Ooh, did not take turn one too well there. With Andy Lou right next to him. Yeah, broken arrow in the pit, so. Psycho like Santan, gone well wide there. And Jones is out. Jones is out of qualifying. He's. Oh, he's. Jonesy's done a swanny. Oh, Jonesy. Exactly the same place as Swan Shanks has. Oh, that's gonna that's gonna cause some fun in the Discord. <laughs> I'm laughing already. So Jonesy, unfortunately. Whoa, as Yash comes wildly into the pits there. Big boy cutting some grass. Let's be careful, so. Got Psycho like Santan putting in a 55-7 second sector split time coming in at the stadium. Yeah, coming round then. Couple of good, yeah, he just avoided that curb there. And then a nice apex there, getting a bit of curb there, but that's all good. Keeping it tucked right in to optimize the time and puts in a first time of a 14-5. Yeah. Good little time there. Oh, as we've seen, guy there just putting in a 14.9. So, one lap pace signs are good thus far. Looking good for guy on debut. As we've got big boy in the pit. So, broken arm, big boy, unable to set a time on that first run. We have, we have lost Jonesy. I'm going to suspect guy is going to be on an end lap. He's going to be very slow. Yes, he is. About yeah, Psycho is down by a couple of seconds. Senna is invalidated, so and Addy is coming into the pits. So it's going to be pretty slow on track. After that first round, on an in lap, on worn tyres, after setting the bank, ah, I did it again. This is why I'm king. <laughs> I'm king of F and qualifying. Yeah. Okay, I think the only way. Oh, I don't know how to how to do this. So all drivers in the pits again. I'm just so. 
So, I'm going to jump on board with Big Boy as he's going to be out on a, out early on track. Uh, I've done it a couple of times. taking it very easy coming through <laughs> no one else on track so we're just watching Let's have a look then. So, Jonesy, four race crashes in every, every session. <laughs> yeah. Carry on the trend, mate. Have a good self, a good race. So, Tommy Psycho said there were two cars parking on the apex of the straight turn into four. Well, if there was an incident there, we'll see something. I think it might have been there. Uh, I'm not going to name drop, but I think I know who it is by the Discord, because I'm looking to see if I'm getting a response off Cody. I know, mate, he's, he did get the invite, so there you go, he's left the session. Thank you, Cody. Cheers, mate. There you go, he's gone, hopefully. Yep, Jay Mart is starting the petition to... Get Ramsell's son renamed it, uh, Little Ramsell. <laughs> Mini Ramsell, sorry. <laughs> well, still early doors yet, but we'll see how it goes. He's doing very well in qualifying so far. And big boy now, so he's going to come round into the stadium section. He's got the Aston Martin right on his back but that's all right cycles only on his outlap so big boy's going to put his first time in there a 15-7 and he's going to just slide to the side as i thought he would to let psycho start his lap which is again very sporting there so we've got a little bunch cluster we've got a mclaren a mercedes a red bull all just bunched up here can get yourselves a bit of space that would be great so Senna yeah they're just getting out the way to let Senna through that's fair play so Senna is navigating the S's now oh I think he just I didn't catch his throttle but I think he just lifted there to avoid going flying out wide but he's recovered well that was very smooth looking around there and a good apex there has he got another one here yes he has Oh, very close to invalidating, but it hasn't. So Senna, can he get improve on that time? Yes, he can, and he takes pole position provisionally. And that's Atachi Addy straight behind him. And he must have just been starting his last lap, so we'll keep an eye on that. Broke now on an out lap, so big boy. Oh, no, it's not. It's Psycho. He's coming round. Yeah, he's broken now. I wonder how much of a slipstream he's getting off him. But Psycho like Santana. He puts it pole by a hundredth of a second exactly what a time there so close by these top two top three this is going to be close come the finish lads this is going to be close so big boy now he's coming in very slow guy is just starting his lap so keep an eye on that and ash he's just getting to the side there as well i let big boy pass not to hold him up just in case he's he's not to know he's on a slower lap there you go so ash is starting his so senna is he going again he's 600 up he wants that pole he's going to give it all here how oh, can senna, senna get it he's getting the good exit oh and he's gone into the pits oh he must have felt the loss of fuel there and he wasn't going to get it but Adi, Atachi, whatever you want to call him, he's just jumped into pole position with a 14-2-1-5. What a lap there from him. 
Look at these times between the top three. So close as the checker flags are fallen. Senna's session is done. So we've got Psycho now. He's back into the pit. So he's going to start P2 at least. At most, sorry. Oh, guy has invalidated coming through the S's. So that's his qualifying over. So it's Ash now. Where can Ash put this car? He's coming through the S's now. And his DRS is activated. He's finished his two sectors. He's nine tenths up. Nine tenths up. That could be a 15. Oh, he's not, can he get past Broken Arrow? Nine, yeah, he can, you know. He can get up a couple of places, can Ash, if he can keep it smooth through here. So coming to the line now, Ash, where can he put this car? Keeps it to the right, and he does. He puts a P5. That's a good time there from Ash. Well done. So on to Yash now. And the McLaren, he's coming through sector two. His fuel lights flashing. He's two seconds up. So he's on for a 15-2 here. Can he put this in P6? Or can he better it to P5? His fuel light is flashing. He's getting a good apex here for a couple of times. Can he get a final to good turn here and a good exit? Get that over to the right, optimise the time. No, he stays left. And it did jump him, but I don't know where it's jumped him to. Again. As we've got FMC Shadow, welcome to the stream. Viewer number 902, welcome along, mate. Thank you for the follow. Yeah, Jonesy, yeah, League 2. Hopefully Dylan can edit that title when it's all said and done but look at this guys two reserves stealing the show there a bit although well, not stealing the show considering Senna so unlucky there so, but you've got Atachi in first Psycho like Santan that in second that's your front row you've got the Red Bull of Senna putting it in third Yash very good there mate it's going to start P4 guys I just on debut it's going to start P5 let's hope his race, race craft's better as good as he's one lap times there. As we know, that's Ramsell's son. Ash is going to start sixth. Broken Arrow seventh. Big Boy ninth. I, I, I was Andy Lou ninth. So as the guys get ready for the start of the race, I'm going to nip for a beverage break. We are back and ready to start this f uh, Mexico GP for League 2. There you go. Predicted strategy this time as a medium soft soft. And there you go. Adi Atachi is going to lead them away. Unfortunately, Ash and Guy have just had to come together. There we go. And we've got two cars. No, we haven't got them coming together because they both haven't left the pit box. Uh, the starting block. This, uh, so them two guys are going to have freezing cold tyres at the start. Speaking of tyres, we'll get them quickly up for you. There you go. So... We've got the top three starting on mediums, and then the remaining of the top ten on softs. Oh, we do have a hard runner starting today. That's the first, I do believe, the first time I've seen a guy start, someone start on hards, of I, Peter. He's down there in 17th. Thank you for my beverage. <laughs> okay, as Dylan gets again, gets a Twitter of the Discord up. It says good luck to everyone, as does young Tommy, of course, rooting on his cousin. 
and the Aston Martin as I am because he's in my team <laughs> of course though anything can happen in the race now other Yash you know I'm, that's a good that's a surprise for me him being in P4 I'm not going to lie so let's hope he can have a good race obviously guys I just making debut so just extra bit of awareness we don't know each other's racing although he'll have his da keeping them right <laughs> there you go so the back or the back we're waiting for the Aston Martin of Albo at the back there and it looks like he's just getting in there now so not be long there we go we're seeing them revving well, we saw someone in reverse there but the lights are out there is the lobby glitch as they're all just sitting on there as we see virtual safety car I don't know what's happened here and it looks like we've got a lobby glitch it looks like we're going to have to has this brought out the safety car right it's banana buster loading I'm going to say I'd we are, we're waiting on Buster. So I don't know, but we can see a, f a safety car heading down the pit straight there. I think this lobby's bugged and I think we might have to restart this. I think we're going to have to restart this session. Oh, no, we're not. We're away, we're away, we're away. And there we go, and that's a good start there from the Mercedes Atachi. He's going down, and he's getting a car. He's got Psycho Light Santan right behind him there, and the it's a lot. And a, oh, we saw an Alpine there take a bump. It's the coming into turn one. We've got Broken Arrow gets a five-second cl collision there with Big Boy. As we see a Williams there, Vash cutting that corner, and I forgot the safety cars there. So that's an anti-climax. <laughs> forgot about that safety car. I got excited as it all took off. Yeah, I'm... I'm, I'm I might have to call it here and... St Rest yeah, I'm going to call a restart, guys. I'm going to call a restart. This lobby's bugged. So I'm going to quickly. Dylan, mate, can you grab screenshots of this for me, please? And I'm going to back out and I'm going to start a new lobby. So Dylan can do that. I'm just going to let everyone know we're going to do a restart. So I'm gonna back out of this session. Right from the off. Thank you very much, Dylan. There you go, that's already for me for the start. So I appreciate that, buddy. So just like the other night I'm afraid we're gonna have to Quickly on to Mexico. Bear with, I do apologize, guys. There you go. 
go to the lobby set up. It's going to be. Yes, Dylan, I got the screenshot, mate. It's on my phone. I'm going to quickly get the invites out. So, Andy Lou, Ash, Big Boy, Bo Narrow, Peter, Jonesy, Kinsel, Nizzy, Page, Scooby Stew. No, not Scooby Stew, Senna, Slippery Tuna, Swan Chanks, Be Added Dave, and Yash. There you go. Permanent drivers have there. Invites. Right, so we have got. With we've got there we go psycho like Santan Ruthless Venom Banana Busta Atachi Invite the oh one more There we go. So I believe that's all 20 set up. So lobby options. Off. Off. Long. Custom grid. Good editor. Right, if you bear with guys as they're getting into the lobby. Try to get this. So we we'll had a touchy. MP1. For sight. Oh. I need to go into spectator mode. Oh, sorry mate, I have a forgetting elbow, so we'll get him back in. Uh, I forgot one. Sorry mate, it's on its way. Oh, wrong one. There you go, so that should be elbow in. Dylan, can you keep an eye in the Discord mate for me, please, if you don't mind. And I'll... Just so who hasn't got an invite, then let me know on stream if you don't mind, buddy. So I can quickly get the grid sorted as soon as I can. Yash, restart your, restart your application, mate. Waiting again for the guys. If you haven't got a invite, let us know as quickly as possible. If this Venom needs one, no bother, mate, on the way. go that's one for him Senna need one. Oh, oh, he's in Senna's in Yash wants another one no bother mate I'll get that to you now again guys don't forget your setups so there's one for Yash be out of Dave he's not there slippery tuna 
Jonesy. There you go, so we should be just waiting for them four. As soon as we're on 20 drivers, I can get the lobby sorted. Tuna back in, four to go, three, Captain Infinity Ruthless Venom on his way, no bother mate, appreciate you getting this done as soon as we can, Jonesy wants one on its way. Just wait on Jonesy to get in and then I'll customize the grid. There you go and he's in. Grid editor, right. So we've got Itachi, we've got Psycho. Oh, moving down. Second, third, center. Fourth, Yash. Fourth, Yash. Guy, next. And Broken Arrow. Big boy. Andy Lou, Jonesy, Nizzy with this venom, Nizzy with this venom, Page and Swan Shanks, Page. One shanks. Oh, I've missed. No, I've missed someone out, haven't I? Ash. Ash needs to go up to six. There you go, broken arrow. Ash is ahead of broken arrow. There we go. Page swan shanks. Banana buster be out of Dave. Banana buster. We had a Dave, Peter, Slippery Tuna, Pencil Styles, and Albo. Confirm changes. There we go, guys. Thank you very much for your patience, and we can get underway. If you'd like to ready up, and we'll. Oh, yep. Sorry, 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 sorry. Yep. Good spot, Dylan. Dry race, we don't want it on dynamic. Clear, oh, clear, dry, start time realistic, forecast that. There we go. Very quickly, is there anything else I forgot? Uh, I believe that's, that's good. Uh, sod it, we'll check, we'll check. Right, that's sorted. That's sorted. That's sorted. Custom grid sorted. Clear race. Firm will safety cars done. It is on reduced. Realistic car moves hot. Yeah. Thank you for following Michael Finn. We have had a lobby glitch, so we are about to get on the way with the race restart there we go all good don't forget your setups guys exactly don't forget guys in the top 10 to start on the tires you qualified on obviously there was only three guys on the mediums but here we go the counter is ticking down again thank you for everyone 
for getting this in and sorted as quickly as possible. It's a formation that will be on. Then hopefully we'll get it underway straight away. Yes, I am on spectate. And that's it. Count that down and away we'll go. Yep. Typical PBE restart. <laughs> yep, guys, don't ready up. Give people a chance to choose the setups, to choose the strategies. Yeah. Just. Well, guys, we've got 30 seconds. Someone has readied up. So hopefully you've gotten your tyre strategies done, your fuel loads done, and your setups done. Uh, jump down so it looks like we are good to go. Well, it says we are still waiting for players. Aye, mate, I'm vaping. <laughs> Sorry about that. I get, I get bored. Yeah. Again, it seems we are waiting for players. Right, and we'll start again. So another 20 seconds, and we'll be underway. Good luck, everyone, from Michael Finn. I don't have this game or that setup, but enjoy watching. Thank you, mate. Yeah, great to have you here. <laughs> yeah, we'll do it. If you want any kind of, if you're new to the game and want to learn, if you're more experienced and been away for a while and you want to get back into it, still in another. Dylan's had the, and will have the Discord up, even if you just want to spectate and talk to people and get on with a great community. Get in and say hello, mate. Uh, time has gone again, so... I have no clue what's going on here. There you go, Dylan, with that good stuff for you. This is why I end up vaping all the time, because <laughs> I have no clue here. Yeah. There we go. So, just like that. Hopefully, all the guys, so there you go. As you were, have I gotten it all correct? I hope I have. It looks I have. So Atachi's going to bring them down the straight. Everybody looking good. There we go. Tire strategy, soft, soft, medium. As Nizzy was disqualified from the session. As he sat there, he is. Just sat in the middle there. I have no idea what's happened there. I know Jake says, hurry up, Code Masters. It's his bedtime soon. As I, Peter and Slippy Tuna are both disqualified as well. They're just all sat at the start there, so tyres are going to be freezing cold. Uh, again, technical gremlins are rising it, raising the head again. But we're about to get underway. 36 laps in League 2 action. Hoping as he can get a good start. 
Um, Cole Tyers is going to be swamped. And Pete Aaron Tuna not moving off the blocks either. So I hope they've gotten the, uh, the setups down and, <laughs> and everything they need. Groove Ninja comes back and it's lap one again. Uh, lap zero again. Yeah, mate, I have no clue. No one had moved and a virtual safety car and safety car came out. They all started moving. I thought it was the race start, which quite clearly it wasn't. I got too excited. Yellow flags all over the shop. But hopefully, there we go. There's a touchy. It's back on his block. Again. I have it on authority, his tyres won't start to cool. Oh, there's his partner on the front row there. So yeah, Itachi, Adi, Psycho Like Santan, or Satan, Pretty and Senna, them three drivers are stand out from qualifying. Yash though puts it in P4 and Q3. I'm really surprised, like I was saying from me. So we'll have the lights. We don't have the revs. We do now. And it's go, go, go this time. And it's a great start from the back by the Aston Martin. And who's that? Is that an Alpha Tauri? Getting a good start, but it's the front two cycle like Santan has taken the lead of Atachi. He's going to have the inside line going into turn one. We've got a glitchy car at the back there, but it's all sorted out. Williams taking the inside curb as they're coming through turns two, turns three, onto this little straight here, into turn four, five, and six. But that's looking all good so far as Nizzy, unfortunately, has been dro has dropped to the back of the grid. And cold tyres, he must have gotten swamped. It's behind Dave, unfortunately, is at the back of the pack. And we've got we've got Guy there with a five-second penalty for corner cutting. But we've got Santan there, has taken the lead over Itachi. Ash Tube has made his way up into third, the Williams driver there. With Yash still in fourth, so who's missing? Senna's missing, Andy Lewis in fifth, guys drop down the place into sixth, Jonesy in seventh, big boy eighth, Senna in ninth, Ruthless, Ruthless Venom in tenth, and Ash is out, Ash is out, he's lost it to the S's, we've got a yellow flag sector too, so be careful for overtaking each other guys, has it brought out a safety car, three second time penalty for Swan Shanks there, but as we come to the end of lap one, I don't think we're going to get a safety car, all drivers are passed. Obviously, Psycho puts in the first fastest lap time. There you go, Groove Ninja back. You're seeing it. Want a lap two now? It's took about 20 minutes, but we've gotten there. So you made. But Psycho like Satan from Atachi, from Yash, from Andy Lou now in fourth. Guy in fifth does have that penalty though. Jonesy up into sixth. Big boy seventh. Senna in eighth, drawing a few positions and has a penalty. Ruthless Venom up another position into ninth. Looking to get past Senna now. With this Venom and Senna, of course, picked to have good battles this season. At the moment, they're in P8, P9, P8. Banana Buster as well, P10. So there you go, Senna. Backwards and forwards with Ruthless Venom as they come through this hairpin turn. Into S's, who's going to yield first? Two by two going through, and that looked like a bit of a tight corner there, and the Red Bull might have gotten caught out, you know. Don't know if he got it left enough room, but Senna has dropped back down. It looks like he's took a spin. We've got another yellow flag. That'll have been for the spinning Senna as Nizzy has made his way up past. Albo's up into 13th already. As Senna's picked up a three-second time penalty. So it's psycho like Santan now. He's already 1.3 seconds ahead of Atachi. That's a great start from the Aston Martin driver. Yash doing it even one better. Back up to third. Andy Lou fourth. Guy fifth. Jonesy 6th, Big Boy 7th, Ruth Venom up into 8th, Banana Buster 9th and Swan Shanks into the points in 10th, Swan, uh, Peter is 11th, Nizzy 12th, back up to there, Albo in 13th, Page 14th, Broken Hour unfortunately down to 15th, Kinsel in 16th, Bearded Dave back up to 17th, Senna is in 18th and Slippery Tuna is in 19th and unfortunately Ash Tube is our first casualty of the day. As we've got Jonesy now, he's right on the gearbox of Big Boy and he's getting past gear, uh, Big Boy quite easily there into turn four. And around he goes. Jonesy on the soft tyres. Unlucky for Senna for one second, I thought he caught it. Yeah, I, I give us a bad camera angle there as we've seen the two cars going. All I can think of is that it might have been a bit too tight. He's getting too much grass. Maybe there wasn't a car's length. 
left for him, but we know Senna's got the ability to get back into this race. Three laps gone, 33 to go. Anything can happen yet, as we've seen already this weekend. Menace Max going from last to first. Last season we saw Lynx last to first. I know this is tier five, League Two, but hey, anything can happen. So Andy Liu now looking to get that move done on Yash. Yash trying to defend, goes to the inside. Andy Liu sweeps back out to the right hand side. So he takes the outside into turn one, gets the inside line into turn two. And it looks like Yash has pushed him. It uh, looks like Yash has pushed him off the track there as they're coming through. Again, camera angle tells you one thing, but if anything's happened, it'll get reported. But unfortunately, that's Andy Liu down into P8 with Guy now on debut up into P3. Doing well so far, Yash down into fourth, big boy. Back past Jonesy into fifth. Uh, yeah, and Jonesy into sixth. Who's with Venom now up into P7 with Andy Liu having to fit back into the pack then, P8. Banana Buster ninth, Swan Shank still in tenth. So we're having a look now at the top. It is, ooh, is Yash got a three second penalty there for going wide again. It's him and Guy now coming through the stadium section. That's the closest battle at this moment in time as I'm looking through the top ten. Keep an eye on Jonesy, Ruthless Venom. So they're going to want him to get past Big Boy. Get them double figure points. But Yash now is going to pick up DRS from Guy as they're coming down the straight can he get he goes to the inside Guy unfortunately is much of a sitting duck there you go gets that move done well before the bridge as they're coming to turn one but as you know Guy next lap can be your turn and uh, Yash is going to get the DRS here and he gets a good exit there from the corner Guy is using all his ARS so Swan Shanks, Banana Buster now, they're having a little battle down at the mid uh, midfield pack there and Ruthless Venom right up the tailbox of Jonesy. So coming through four, five and six now, they're going to, and I think it's seven as well. That's it, uh, Jonesy getting a half a second, so it's Guy back on Yash by the looks of it, yeah, for the next DRS straight as they're coming through the S's. The top four now just starting to pull away with it. Getting four seconds now between fourth and fifth. This guy right down just stays behind the back. A Yash, Yash going a bit wide there into the stadium. The guy just holding it, just keeping it back. There you go. His his turn for her. And we've got a spin. We've got a spin. Is that Albo? Albo, yes. Albo's dropping down the field. He's took a spin through the uh, coming out of the yeses there. But he's back on the move. Wonder if he's had any wind damage, but he will be back into the pits. There you go, guy up into third, going on the inside. Yash just tucking back in. I can see this going on for a long time between these two. Seem to be so similar in pace. So guy this time will get the DRS along that second straight. So we're looking further down the grid again now and Mizzy and Banana Buster. Mizzy looking to get in last week's race winner looking to get back into the points here now he gets the DRS on Banana Buster for the second time the Banana Buster is he yes he's well he had his battery power used there he goes around the outside of the thought he cut the door on Mizzy but Mizzy's all good he's just sticking behind him there let's go further up the grid there it's still Yash and Guy although Jonesy now within half a second as they're coming through the S's, two big boy, as Jonesy gets a three second pad I, what, that was ridiculous that, no way did he look like he was off the track, that's a beautiful overhead there, as he's right up the gearbox now, a big boy going at the stadium, good sector three, he had to get a good exit, get him on the straight going down, so the top two as you can see, six laps now on them mediums, the next four drivers all on softs, coming to the end of their tyre life I do suspect, did miss a fastest lap being put in there. Ruthless Venom though, he's the one making inroads on Jonesy. As you saw Big Boy there trying to break the slipstream, but going into turn one there. Jonesy's on the inside, gets that move done and gets the corner for turn two and turn three. And he's going to get the DRS coming out. So that means Ruthless Venom is going to be the one now trying to get past Big Boy on this shorter straight of the three. Well, the middle straight of the three there. But he kind of get the move done and Andy Lou right on the gearbox there, Ruthless Venom. So battle here between 5th and 8th and as Andy Lou gets the move done on Ruthless Venom. 
going to be very interesting obviously a couple of laps time I fancy Ruthless Venom start to look, get their moves done as he will be on the better tyre six laps as we've got a yellow flag who got a flag for Yash unfortunately Yash has took a big spin there at the same place where Jonesy and Swan Shanks lost it in qualifying and he's got no wings so that's an unfortunate pit stop needed for him so that gets Ruthless Venom up a spot Jonesy now up into fourth whereas he's about six seconds behind Guy now so he's just got to get knuckled down get the best uh, times he can out of them tyres before he has to pit big boy now just under a second so he has getting DRS on or has he getting DRS was Jonesy ahead as we see McLaren there Ruthless Venom swing to the inside of the track looking to make a move on Andy Lou but he he backs out might have been nowhere to go there as guys are coming into the pits there Yash having to come into the pits Banana Buster getting past Nizzy there going into turn one uh, good good little battles going on all throughout the grid there but Saito like Santan 1.2 ahead of Itachi or Adi however you want to call him and there two and a half seconds ahead of Guy Guy again on his debut so as it stands Jonesy is your top runner for permanent drivers looking for good points at there to keep himself up at that end of the table especially with so many drivers around him tip to do good things as long as you can pick up the points mate it should be all good so then coming through this Nizzy now looking for a move back on oh I've gone too far sorry back on Banana Buster there you go side by side and he's getting that move done into the oh but he goes deep there and he's going to have to cut up all that corner has he get he would have gotten a warning for that but he hasn't gotten anything as far as i can see so nizzy now up into ninth swan shanks up into eighth nathan f1 fanatics thank you for the follow mate welcome to the stream your viewer 904 good to have you ramsell son equals ramsell well I, I don't know mate i'm not going to get into that one But we're gonna have, we'll get them back we'll have to get them uh, on track together i feel so there as you can see guy or ramsell's son yellow fuel light flashing already so he's gotten under fuel the car same as psycho there so they're expecting or hoping for safety cars as i'm going to quickly flick down oh what was happening there so was this venom again sorry and andy lou Coming into the stadium, yeah, just not close enough there, Ruthless Venom, Andy Lou, so we're going to have a nice bit DRS train coming up for this next lap, as, long as Jones is going to lead them down the pit straight, or the main straight, have we got guys in the pits, yes we have, Guy has come into the pits, and he's going to get off them soft tyres, but he got in from P2, yeah, Tachi's had a, looks like he's had a spin, coming out the final corner I believe, because he's now eight seconds behind Saito, so something's definitely gone on there. It's Dylan says Swan Shanks for a podium. The neutrals after last week will be one hoping for Swan Shanks to get a podium. I want Jonesy and Swan Shanks on the podium personally, because that'll be one hell of an interview. <laughs> but against ten laps gone now. We've had one DNF and it didn't cause a safety car. So everything going good. A lot better here from League Two. Not the curses all, but I'm about to have put the kiss of death onto some poor bugger. But never mind. They can beat us up in the Discord. So again, just on board. Oh, we'll jump down there because Guy on his fresh mediums has come back out into traffic and he's right behind Senna. And Senna though. Plow, plodding on on his mediums oh who's that broken out oh that did not oh goodness me that might have been a bit of lag but Senna's going to get past broken out coming into this stadium section there I thought there was a coming together as a car went wide it must have just been a bit of lag but on the go so banana bus that 12 seconds behind Ruthless Venom now, so I do suspect there's been a couple of individual incidences. It's Kinsel now, gets ahead of Bearded Dave, Bearded Dave. 
Oh, he's lost it on Dylan's corner. So he's going to spin it around. Is he going to head into the pits? Yes, he is. So unfortunately, Pierre Davis took another spin there on Idolano corner. <laughs> and he's going to get some fresh tyres. That would be a great interview with Jonesy and Swan. It would. It would. It'd be cracking. One of my goals of the season to see them two in the compu box together. So, it was this Venom, three second time penalty. We're so in League One, a lot of penalties getting handed out. Fortunately, as we know, this track is notorious for limits. Track limits to give you penalties. I've getting penalties and I never even went four wheels off. There we go, Cycle Like Santan has started lap 11, uh, sorry, lap 12, and we're seeing cars in the background going into the pits. So, Jonesy into the pits, Andy Lou into the pits to get 11 laps on them softs. That's a good run from them. Big boy going for the overcut, though, by the looks of it. There we go, and Andy Lou, though, has had to have a wind, wing change. That's going to hamper him, I'm afraid. Can he get out in front, Kinsel? Oh, is Kinsel coming into the pits? Yes, he is. So who's that? That's Paige. Can Andy Lou get out ahead of Paige? Yeah, she comes down the straight. And she gets that past him. Yeah. Paige moves up a place into P10 ahead of Andy Lou. But Andy Lou going for a second set of softs there. So Cycle Like Santan gets the three seconds. That could be massive towards the end of the race. It's all about keeping the car on track and avoiding them penalties guy with the lowest amount of penalties or the girl with the lowest amount of penalties could pick up good points again the day as we've seen broken arrow who we're on board with now has done that the last two races in a row yeah you might think he's in ninth now but look at that no penalties i know there's guys above him with no penalties but anything can happen as long as you keep no penalties you're laughing but i'll bust that now in fifth because of the guys pitting and there you go big boy has came in on lap 12 to change his tyres and he's going on to the mediums so with about 23 laps to go are these guys looking to go to medium is he going to look to go to mediums till the end we're seeing the other way around in the last race Groove Ninja got about 23 laps in on them mediums Had a really good race so Top three now, still the same two from the start, although vice versa. Cycle like Santan started P2, he's now up in the first. Tatachi is swapped, starting P1. And he's down at the second, but with the Venom, who characteristically missed his window to get out in Q2 and had to start, uh, I believe it was 12th. Now he's 13th, on, but he's got a fresh set of tyres to start with and He's up to third now. Grooving in 23 laps on softs he did. There you go. I knew he did 23 laps on something, but he did really well. I'm just wondering if that's the flip side. They do try on the flip side. So, let's see. Oh, and there's my battery going to go low. So I'm going to get that plugged in. They want me controller dying. So... Itachi coming into the pits for a set of softs with 22 laps remaining. Can he do? Is he going to go to the end on the softs? So he's going to come out of the pits in fourth, is he? Yes, he is, just ahead of center. So he's obviously going to be looking to make progress being on them fresh softs. As we've got Swan Shanks with a three second time penalty. So obviously gaps now between the top three are massive here as they yet the pit. So I want to stick on board with Senna and see if he can do anything to stay within the range of Itachi or Ali. This big boy is back into the pits and he's down in 18th now I'm afraid. He's, something's gone a cropper for him. But Senna now, yeah, he's, he's dropped. Just behind Addy and Addy now is making a move on Banana Busters that come down out of the S's into the DRS straight and gets that move done easily. There you go. So just a little bit of traffic for Addy, but he's navigated that well. 
and now he wants to put in as much he wants to get as much space between them because sight will like Santan it'll be due to pit soon I'd imagine down now Senna now he's making the move going into turn one on this uh, banana bus down he gets the lead yeah inside of the corner banana just just yields a touch there not to go don't want to be knocking your wing into them back wheels so that's a position gain there from Senna and guy there he's looking in as well the two alpha towers and side by side no again banana buster on them older mediums just getting out the way if you're stretching out a one stop the last thing you want to be doing is battling with drivers through these tricky corners eating eating them tires up when you don't need to so banana bus that down there in seventh but 14 laps on them tires same as senna 14 laps on his tires as has ruthless venom who is into the pits so Cycle like Santan as well. He's coming out the pits on soft, so he's going to look to stretch them to the end, I'd imagine, like Atachi. And there you go, with this Venom coming out. Where can he come out? Ooh, he's going to come out behind a, a pack of drivers here, I'm afraid. And it's looking like he's going to come out in eighth position. Is, he going to, is Andy Lou going to get that position? He's getting it now. With this Venom just needs to tuck in crack on broken hour there you go 15 laps so far on these softs so can't again he's looked the stretch out of one stop really interesting to see with these tire strategies and and everything but there you go Addy has made a few inroads but it's still eight seconds as we've got another yellow flag but I cannot see what that's for Go Page is getting a three second time penalty for corner cutting. So I'm just going to look down, another yellow flag. This doesn't seem to be for anything. I've not seen any drivers fall down the grid. There you go, it's there again. Uh, silly, silly, silly. Right, what's this Venom on Andy Lou? Come down the straight. Senna has pitted. Senna will pit for the hards. And he's going to serve a time penalty. So who's this Venom now on Andy Liu? But Andy... Oh! I don't know what's happened there. I don't know what's happened there. Whether that's a bit of lag or what. But Banana Buster's just clattered in Andy Liu there and gone spinning. Don't know what's happened there. If there's an incident, it'll get reported. But Andy Lou looked like he was just going in a straight line. And kept going in a straight line. Oh, there we go. Looked like this is Venom glitched out there on us as well. There's nothing down the grid now. We've only got one, two, three, four drivers. Still without penalties. It's interesting that... Ruthless Venom went for mediums. He started, at, yeah, he started on mediums, so he's definitely got to pit again. Ruthless Venom, as the rest of the guys are kind of going to be stretching out the tyres, I'd imagine. Yeah, I guess he's got to be hoping for a safety car now, doesn't he? And again, as the guys are just. Spreading the times out again now, so Andy Lou's the one making the inroads on Rustus Venom going down this main straight. Is he going to go hang around the outside? No, he's not. He's going to look for a switchback kind of manoeuvre. Just couldn't make that work either. Is he going to get DRS? Yes, he does. Of course he does. Have you had it the last time he gets it this time? And he gets the move done on Ruthless Venom. But he's not giving it up yet. Oh, you might have getting a warning there, Andy Lou. And there, he's gone wide. Cut. Sorry, he's cut the corner and gone wide. He's coming around six and into the S's now. Andy Lou is ahead. Going into that first turn. Yeah, 
Yes, Mr. Fenham just yields off a bit. Oh, and there's a spin out there. There's a spin out. That's Kinsel by the looks of it. Or is it that? Nope, it is Kinsel at the back there. Unfortunately, he's not having no luck with that car. Slippery tuna just plodding along there. So just looking again, it's Ruthless Venom. On Andy Lou as they're coming down the main straight. Andy Lou trying to break the DR uh, the slipstream for Ruthless Venom, but it's not working. So inside line there for Ruthless Venom, who's used all his battery. Is he yet? Yeah, quite easily into turn one, as we've seen on this track. Kind of like a sitting duck. And he's going to get DRS again. I tried to get a bit of a gap going between him and Andy Lou. Andy Lou, of course. Going to look to get the slipstream here. And then a good sector too to get that DRS back for the next straight. As we've got Kinsel picking up a five second penalty for speeding in the pit lane. So unfortunately, them tyres just too hot for him. So let's have a look at water again. It's still sight well like Santan. Hitachi is in second. Guys I just is in third. Keep it through their messes there well. Jonesy is in fourth. But he's closing in. He's closing in on that podium. Great stuff from Jonesy with this Venom. P5 so far. As Albo. Back up into P7. Of course, Albo was so win the League One race earlier on in his day, and he's starting at the back. It's him and Banana battling the way through, wheel to wheel, clo so close by them two. That was a good little bit of driving there by them two. As Banana Buster goes, sorry, as Albo goes well on the inside and gets that move done on Banana Buster, but Banana Buster is not going to give it up. A slippery tuna picks up a three second time penalty for corner cutting there so there you go Albo gets that move done nicely Peter now on Swan Shanks going into turn one again quite easy you get DRS down that long straight you're kind of like a sitting duck so Peter's going to get DRS again and away they go so then plenty of TV time for this guy today Captain Infinity uh, Ruthless Venom Four tenths now behind Jonesy. Again, two tenths now as they're coming out of the stadium section around Dylan's corner. Or Dylan's bend, whatever you want to call it. There you go, that's a great overhead view going down. Jonesy just lets him through, slips straight back into the slipstream. Trying to get as much of that as he can. Getting so powerful the DRS and battery is, or whatever it is. Down these long straights. And he's going to get it again to try to build up a bit of a gap. And he gets about six tenths ahead of Jonesy, which is probably all you're going to get done really to be fair as Bearded Dave oh Peter's, Peter's dropping because he's been in the pits again that's mediums there for Peter banana buster there 20 laps on them medium tyres now I like it how a lot of the drivers are just being sensible they know it's an endurance kind of race if they're only doing a one stop okay, so it's Jonesy can he stay under the second Ruthless Venom now as they come through the stadium section once more. Lap 22 now, guys, and it's flying over. Great race. Great race from League 2 today. Over halfway. Only one DNF. Fantastic, but I think no Jones, he just caught it. There you're seeing his DRS. He's back. Oh, we've got to know that. God damn it. And oh, I freaking done it this time though, didn't I? Hi Delano Corner. Yeah, that's what I mean. Hi Delano Corner or Dylan's Bend. I don't know, it's just whatever comes in first. As we say, unfortunately, Slippery Tuna has lost it. I didn't see where. 
unfortunately he's out Kinsel's just coming through yeah he's lost it in the S's his banana buster has left the session I hope he can, he can get back in on that so all the guys now coming in for fresh tyres there at the bottom let's have a look there he goes oh psycho's coming in whack on a fresh set of softs I know plot has made I'm sorry I, I, I was just getting to it I get too excited man I open my mouth and then it's like oh his mouth's open wide enough for his foot to get put in it so we'll do that shall we Oh, 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 Swan Shanks drive through penalty for speeding under the safety car. That is not what Swan Shanks needed. So, Psycho Softs, Addy Softs. Yeah, comes Guy getting a free pit stop onto the Softs. Great race from Guy today. With this Venom into the pit. Softs up into P4. Jonesy up into P5. On soft. Oh, guy's got the mediums. He has. I could have sworn he put the softs on there. Andy Lou on the mediums. So how long is left? 13 laps left. Yeah, some guys thinking they can stretch the softs out. As we've seen it done, some guys not that confident, so they're going to put fresh mediums on. But there you go. Apart from Kinsel there at the bottom. And Peter, who's just put the first lap on his tyres, everyone's got fresh tyres on. So, <sighs> Monaco, eh, not Monaco, Mexico, without a safety car would have been a dream, but unfortunately your commentator has mucked it up. As Dylan says there, the commentator's curse is real. Alright. Well, I might try it the other way next time then. So, Psycho, you're shite. <laughs> Addy, you're shite. Guy, you're shite. Ruthless, you're shite. <laughs> there you go. And Jonesy, you're rubbish. Ah, oh, gutted, gutted, gutted. I really am gutted. We'll, we'll jump on board with Psycho then. So, like you see, everyone's pitted. Peter, a lap before everyone else. Kinsel a couple of laps before. <laughs> Stillen's laughing. I right. go the. I'll try the reverse psychology then. Oh, but what kind of league admin would I be if I just started slating everybody? Probably a good one. Some people might say. <laughs> but as we go around again, we're just letting the drivers catch back up. the park which well more than we should probably be getting well looks like we're going to be as banana is back into the pits again so unfortunately his second race hasn't gone as well as the first I uh, don't know if we're going to be able if we'll be going this lap because it's still not bunched back up enough I don't think Will Banana have enough time to catch back up? Oh, so it looks, yeah. Uh, Kinsel, unfortunately, is the lap car. And that's a great shame for him. Keep going to the end, mate. You... The more you drive, the more... All you can do is improve. Experience, experience, experience. And one day, you'll just blow everyone out of the park in amazement with how good you've done so again broken arrow I know he's back down into 16th but still no penalties Beata Dave no penalties Banana Buster no penalties Itachi no penalties this safety car obviously is played right into uh, Addy's hands because I'm sure he did take a spin early on and lose a lot of time to cycle so obviously this has just brought him back into that so we are going to go for another lap as I think I 
could be wrong, but I think Kinsel, yeah, he's just getting out, as he's the lap car, he's just getting out of everyone's way, so again, fair play for that, mate. Uh, Banana should catch up to the back, I think, as they go through these S's, but one more sec then, we'll find out when that car's coming in. Page and broken out, out, arrow there just swapping positions. As Page gets a five second penalty for ignoring yellow flags. It's a bit harsh in a five, I thought it was three. But nevertheless, let's jump on board with Psycho as we should. See, yeah, we'll go. There's a safety car in just as they hit sector three. Banana got back to the back of the queue. So let's see what Psycho's safety rest, uh, safety car restarts are like. So got an Aston Martin first, Mercedes second, an Alpha Tauri third, McLaren fourth, We've got an Alpine fifth, Andy Lewis in the Alpha Romero sixth, and Albo's made his way up to seventh, and he's gone, he's gone, he's gone. And he's getting a half a second lead already over Itachi as Andy Lou gets a five second collision penalty for a collision with Albo. I think it might have been the other way around, so that could be getting removed. But as they're coming down the main straight, yeah, Psycho, he's had a good start there. For half a second off Itachi, who's half a second off Guy, who's two, uh, two tenths ahead of Ruthless Venom as Senna gets a three second time penalty. We'll have a quick look behind, but it's all looking pretty good. Guy's just getting caught out back there. Andy Liu dropped back over a second down from Jonesy now. So Jonesy just at the back of this pack here. Two drivers there. You see Jonesy, Ruthless Venom, both on softs. Guy stuck in the middle of these four drivers with soft tyres. More obviously. Oh god, that didn't sound good, that Alpine. Guy just holding them up. Psycho has getting a second ahead of Itachi now. Ooh, I don't know if that's just me. Yeah, that could be just me. And me uh, headset as Jonesy, uh, sorry, Albo and Andy Lou are battling it through the stadium section. I've done something to my headset there and it was crackling like hell but Ruthless Venom how has getting past Guy and he's up into the podium position so Guy has had to yield the position for now looking to get them better tyre life coming towards the end of the race as we see Albo has getting past Andy Loom we've got a yellow flag we've got a yellow flag who's dropping that's for Nizzy I think he just went wide he's lost a couple of places as Nizzy now, a little further, Andy Liu, half a second behind Guy, half a second now behind Ruthless Venom, but as you can see the top two starting to pull away, second and a half gap between first and second, Ruthless Venom there though picks up a three second time penalty, so Atachi at the minute could take the, lead, the win on penalties, but with nine laps to go, ten laps to go, Still plenty to play for. Oh god, I've, done, I've knocked me wire on my headset, Jan. My speakers are awful. Oh, we'll have to power on through it as DRS is enabled. Again, you won't see that happening until sector two. As Pete has dropped down a couple of positions, he's oh, it looks like Pete has had a spin somewhere. Oh, he's into the pits. Pete has into the pits again for a tyre change. Kinsel was ghosted. Peter, if you can get them softs on and pick up fastest lap point. That's obviously the equivalent of a P10. And before any new viewers are like, eh, hey, what's he on about? A PBA, the, so long as you finish the race, if you get fastest lap, you get the point. So Peter puts in the fastest lap, although he's 17th at the moment, he will still get a point for that fastest lap. So, 
Jumping back up now, we're having a look, having a look. Albo, he's the one manning on Jonesy. And DRS is open, but he backs out. Yeah, he's, he had the slower line. He just backed out there very gentlemanly indeed. Again, just feathering that throttle, waiting for his opportunity to make the pass. Again, we've got another yellow flag set at two and three, but that's gone now. I didn't see who that was for, but there you go. Slip your tuna. Oh, it has left the session. Oh, yeah. Well done for sticking around, though, mate, as that move is easily done there. For Albo, so... Guy now, let's have a look. Seven tenths behind with this Venom. Again, it's just a case of these two Itachi just keeping it tight to cycle and avoiding penalties to bring home win number two in consecutive weeks. Okay, throw that down. Jonesy, Piada, Dave, and Yash just battling it. Backwards and forwards for P10-11. Oh, that's a nice move there by Bearded Dave. He's got a nice little switch back done there, but Yash isn't giving up on it. Oh, he's gone wide there, so... Oh. Oh, my. <laughs> Page of Broken Hour there, just coming either side. And who's that? Who's that coming down the centre there? Car number 39, Banana Buster. Oh, Banana Buster. He broke too late and went in the back of Broken Hour there, I think. Oh, that didn't look good there. I hope uh, Broken Hour is all right. I think he just missed his breaking spot. Yash has had a crash. And there he is in sector three. And has he had a coming together with Broken Arrow? You see Broken Arrow just reversing. He's ghosting. And he's going to come out the track. And is he going to go back to the pits? He certainly is. So it looks like Yash and Broken Arrow have had a coming together. So we're looking back up now. Back on elbow on Guy. Again. Coming through now. The yeses once again. The RS open for him. That could have caused broken rear wing damage, yeah. Because he hit the back of them just going into the stadium section so it could have definitely have caused damage I mean Albo had brake damage in the last race and there he goes on the left hand side of Guy and he's going to get that move done just as the DRS gets activated and that's unfortunately Guy down into P5 however they're both making ground on Ruthless Venom here as Ruthless Venom stays on the inside and Albo right round the back and there's a switch back on for here for Guy but he just backs out he's going to get the RS Albo though just ex trying to extend that gap to Ruthless Venom along this straight but he doesn't Ooh. nice and tight here from the three guys get a nice overhead of this stay on board with Ruthless Venom as this is where the action is going to be for this last podium spot is it or is Albo just going to pull away I think he might be as Guy picks up the three second time penalty. So we're five laps to go. We'll have a quick look at the penalties. As you can see, 17 seconds for Albo. So he's unfortunately going to lose that podium spot, I believe. So we're talking 11 seconds to Ruthless Venom. And I don't think he's going to get an 11 second gap out on Ruthless Venom. So podium on the cards there. Two weeks in a row for him. By nothing silly happens but yeah that's guy now he's looking to goes left sweeps back uh, so he goes right and sweeps back left trying to fool out with this venom but it didn't work he's going to get DRS on him this time is yeah oh, but they both got DRS off Albo there so that should be an equalizer there for them and just having a quick look down now, Page is making 
inwards on big boy looking for that p10 spot but with 11 seconds worth of penalties ourselves it's not good so again just like the last race massive amount of penalties for some be added dave could be on for some points possibly if you can keep within the keep within page and big boy he's about three seconds behind big boy now so nizzy up to 11th senna getting past andy luca andy lou spun it andy lewis spun it coming into the stadium section i don't think there was a coming together andy lou needs to get back on track as big boy picks up another three second time penalty that's big for that's big for be a dave that to get at the last point so with three laps left to go now Andy Lou's tyres are looking a bit cooked there. Oh, no, that's a hell of a crash. That's a hell of a crash. Andy Lou he's, and Big Boy have had a coming together around Dylan's Bend. Uh, <laughs> Delano Corner, how are Dylan's Bend? Whatever we'll call it, but they both spun hit the wall and they seem to be cracking back on with it. But again, the game model doesn't show you wing damage to us because that had to have given them some. Yikes indeed, mate. Yikes indeed. We'll be out of Dave, though. Like I said, he's already managed to get himself into P10 after that. Oh, there you go. Andy Liu has got wing damage there, as you can see. He's got no right end plate at the I Delano corner. That's right, mate. <laughs> that's right. Uh, that's what I'll have to get my brain used to seeing repeating that. I Delano corner. Delano corner but yeah going up with this venom now lap 34 of 36 coming on the inside of guy and takes that position but Jonesy right back wanting some of this as well goes to the left hand side he's going to get the outside of the corner turn one oh as he gets touched there by guy to get the inside of the corner on two and three and guy is right on the hot on the heels but Jonesy gets DRS. I think with this Venom and Jonesy both got DRS off Guy. Unfortunately, that's Guy down the order. Andy Lou into the pits to fix that wing damage. So there you go, Bearded Dave. No penalties. 11 seconds for Paige. So she's going to drop a position. Now. Oh, look for Bearded Dave, hopefully, to make some points. That'll be a good end to his session. Have a look at Guy, Jonesy, Rooster's Venom. Really good to see some of these. Oh, is Jonesy gets possibly going to get a warning for that one? Getting four wheels off, going in. Be added, Dave picks up his first penalty though. That's unfortunate for him. So only Addy and Broken Arrow yet to pick up penalties. As you see, Rooster's Venom in the foreground there, weaving away, trying to break the slipstream, but Jonesy and Guy are not having none of it. And he is. Oh, I was going to say he's managed to keep them at bay, but he certainly hasn't, as Jonesy goes around the outside of turn one. And, oh, that's, yeah, that's a three-second time penalty there for Rooster's Venom as he chopped all that corner up. But he's got Guy making a move. Can Guy get the move done? He's going to get the inside of the corner. He's got to get out wide, leaves it. Ah, I was going to say if they were side to side, but he wasn't. That's a good move there. And Atachi picks up a three second time penalty. So everyone has a penalty except Broken Arrow. So these are going to come into play big style later. Well, I'm saying later, as so I've got a yellow flag. Set that two. That looks like it was for Big Boy. No, it wasn't. Uh, it was for Atachi. By the looks of it, Albo has jumped into P2. So then, we are on lap 36 of 36. Psycho like Santan. And the Aston Martin has a, a nine second lead over Albo. But with 17 seconds worth of penalties, Albo, I don't believe. And he is going very slow here. 189, 190 miles an hour. That was really slow. We've got a yellow flag there for Swanshanks, and he's had a DNF. He's lost it in 
that the same place as he did in qualifying. That's so unfortunate there for Swan Shanks. But he's going to be out the race. I think he... Uh, yeah, he has. It's in exactly the same place. Obviously, last lap of the race is not going to be a safety car. It's Jonesy and Ruthless Venom, though. Ooh, I don't know if that was a bit of a glitch. Might, yeah, Ruthless Venom looking a spot laggy. But Jonesy now up in the fifth. Atachi has taken that position back from Albo as Albo picks up another three-second time penalty. So he's on 27 seconds. But coming through the final corner now the Idolano corner Psycho like Santan is going to win the Mexican Grand Prix in League 2 Adi Atachi whatever you want to call him is going to come up with a second podium in two races and finish P2 Albo is going to cross the line P3 but Jonesy is going to pip him to P3 for his second podium in consecutive weeks Nizzy is going to shoot all the way up to P5. Senna is going to finish P6. Albo is going to drop down to P7. Guy on debut is going to finish P8 because of penalties. No, he's not. He's going to finish P9 because Page is going to go up to P9. Because the Bearded Dave is going to jump up to P8. So there might be some time penalties being removed. Andy Lewis picked up a three-second time penalty. I can't even see him on the board. But anyway, Guy's going to finish in 10th by the looks of it. Big Boy in 11th. Peter in 12th. Banana Buster, he's going to cross the line in 13th. And I think he's going to stay there. And Sandy Lou, he's crossed the line in 14th. So that's going to leave Broken Arrow to see where he can shoot up. He shoots up a few positions. As Tommy says, let's fucking go. Yeah. Obviously, cheering for his familia there. <laughs> his cousin, Psycho Lake Santan. Dylan, good game, everyone. Mrs. Vintage, of course, saying good. Well done, everyone. Right. As Alvo says, what GG? <laughs> yes, good game, mate. As he says, GG, guys, well raced. So there's confirmation then. Provisionally, we got, depending on time penalty removals. So we've got Psycho like Santan first, Tachi second, Jonesy third, Ruthless Venom in fourth, Nizzy's in fifth, Senna in sixth. Albo 7th, Bearded Dave in 8th, Page in 9th, Guy in 10th, Big Boy 11th, Peter 13th, Broken Arrow 14th, Banana Buster, uh, sorry, Broken Arrow 13th, Banana Buster 14th, Andy Lou 15th, Kinsel in 16th, Swan Shanks is 17th, well, Yash in 18th, Slippery Tuna 19th, Ash Tube in 20th. Right. Let's get these two. So quickly, quickly. Let's go down, let's go down. And let that load up. So there we go. Invites. Are out for your podium guys there's banana and Andy use guys I really don't understand why you're both uses hitting me constantly I think them two guys are the guys with a bit of a the connection yeah we're nowhere no There we go then.
I was just about to say I don't think anyone's going to be joining me, but... Oh, I won't miss it. I won't miss it. <laughs> it's coming, don't worry. Oh, yes. <laughs> I... Before, before I won that fucking race, you and your fucking let's put championship reserves in, dickhead. <laughs> Mate, I've, uh, yeah, I, the too fast, the too slow. I kind of find a no, middle ground. Not too slow. I can call it too slow. <laughs> <laughs> you, you could have put TJ here and let Cody have his car back. Oh uh, yeah, no. <laughs> well, I'm going to have to really start trimming the Fuck reserves. Fuck me, that Santon was quick, man. Isn't he just? Don't get me wrong, the other guy who finished second, he's pretty quick as well, but Santa, fuck. Aye. He was just gone every time. He was just gone. Fastest lap as well, I by some three tenths. Yeah, oh, mate, he's fucking rapid. <laughs> <you know? laughs> just, yeah. just eating his dust every time. Even the safety car restarted, I don't even think I'd seen his car by the time I got going. He'd gone. He'd gone, yeah. He's, uh, I think he needs to start walking the dog with Tommy. <laughs> mate, he needs to go and play with fucking Sloth and Denzo and that while they all exactly. wank on the stomach. Exactly, yeah, but no, great, obviously, great from yourself though, mate, started P10, usual shite in quali for you, but... Oh, man, I don't, I just give up now, <laughs> <It's> just give <laughs> up, who cares anymore, it's just, I just look at it this way, the higher I can get in qualifying before I crash, the better in it, and then it's just, let's just go from there. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely, the psycho like, was laughing his head off blaming Tommy. <laughs> Yeah, no, it's Tommy's fault. Oh, don't worry, I'll have that cunt later. Like, oh, oh, aye. <laughs> but yeah, I'm mate. not mention Nazis are out, shall we? No, no, not 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 live on stream. <laughs> Dylan says hashtag Tommy's fault. I've got Dylan. a better hashtag. Where you at, Swanny? <laughs> <laughs> there it is. Come on, Swanny. Keep up, son. Where have you gone now? <laughs> You know what, right? It's getting what? pretty boring this where you at Swanny shit because I don't even see me in my mirrors anymore. It's like these, these like, and usually about a lap between us or something. Where you at Swanny? <laughs> 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 He's fucking shy, isn't he? Of course he did. I need a better rival. Oh, well, it's speak... tuna, tuna. <laughs> uh, well, I think uh, a potential rival has just joined the party as oh, well. Mate. Atachi, um, Addy, well done, mate. Another reserve performance, another podium for you. Are you all right, buddy? Um, feeling a bit better because I spun twice. <laughs> you did. I thought you did early on as well. I, but yeah, great recovery. Again, a bit of, bit of competition for you this week in Psycho. You really, you really had a, a good battle there between the two years early on and then obviously that unfortunate safety to car I put the friggin kiss of death on you as all for closed it back up but no I started pole finished second you've got to be happy with that though yeah surely mm, I'm partly happy but I'm also disappointed because I couldn't convert the pole to a win because I'm like I'm really competitive but I'm, yeah. I'm happy with it yeah good man well, yeah, yeah, well, like I say, it was used to... Before we go, eh, I've got, like, that's reserves, well done the reserves, but uh, eh, it's a little full-time thing to... I've, I'm pretty buzzing to beat Captain Infinity there, you know. Mm -hmm. So, the last couple of laps before I had him back, that, I, I'm fucking impressed with that. I thought he no. was going to run away, but... No, no, I thought it was a good little battle out in the last I'm, lap. I don't know if he caught it, but... Yeah, yeah, I've got seen a, him I... in my sights and I thought... That, like, they disappeared, and then when I seen them coming back, I thought, shit, there's a podium on it, if I can get him. To be I, fair, I knew that, uh, what's his face, yeah. that, the, that guy, I don't know, guy's eye, I think, or something like that, or I don't know. Oh, yeah, guy's eye, like, just little Ramsey. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> yeah, like, I seen him, and I thought, well, he's got a three-second time penalty more than me, so I've got him, I've got the jump on him. The other two are gone, and then Albo, Mr. Oh, I can go fast. If a, you've got to finish the rest of the track now, mate. 20-odd <laughs> seconds worth of penalties. These fucking road men thinking they can miss half the fucking track out. No wonder you get on the fucking podium. Hey, we cannot... i tell you what, next time I'll just straight line the whole S's and finish him first. <laughs> but, like... I, so, I seen that, I thought, yeah, he's done, he's done for. 
And then I noticed that fucking Captain Infinity was coming back. I thought, <laughs> oh shit, hang on. If I, be, if I get past him, obviously, guys, I. That wonder, or whatever yeah. he's called, like he's done for. Get past him. That's a podium because obviously the roadman doesn't use the road round the track. So <laughs> he picked up twenty seconds, like you <laughs> say. <laughs> no, he was mate, telling me how he was going to do it one twelve nine and all that. Yeah, probably if you missed the fucking X's. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jonesy, <mate. laughs> you <laughs> you crack me up, mate. Honest to God. <laughs> And on that note, where are you at? Uh, I hope yeah. you're in the same place as Albo. He's on his way round fucking oh, USA, I think, by the looks of it. But I'll catch you next time. No bother, Jonesy. You bit. take care. <laughs> Addy, mate, great drive again, mate. You take care and have a good weekend. And everybody yeah. who's tuned in, thank you very much for watching. Congrats to the reserves. And obviously, congrats to Jonesy for finishing the highest place on the Premier. Are there? of the permanent drivers so until next week well until thursday where we are at bahrain have a uh, you all have a good week and i'll see you later bye for now <laughs>